Name's Christopher Eubanks, resident of Iowa, uh, U.S. Army active duty veteran, served 2001-2004, served in Afghanistan, Iraq, um, Egypt, part of Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Bright Star. In the Army, we have what we call Army Core Values. L stands for loyalty, D for duty, R for respect, S stands for selfless service, H for honor, I stands for integrity. P for personal courage. Those are also things that I have not yet witnessed out of the president who is supposed to be the commander in chief of the country. When I first found out about the Russian bounties, I was ashamed. I was appalled. And it basically made me feel like my service was worthless at this point. The fact that a president would stand by, you know, knowingly, he's been briefed, he's known about this and has taken zero steps to rectify the situation. Not a warning, not a, not a public warning, not a private warning. He's not willing to do anything except skirt the issue by calling it a hoax. It's, it's absurd. I mean, at this point, it feels like we are more of a puppet state of Russia than we are our own country. He's never stood up. He's never owned it. So when I hear the president say it's a hoax, personally, I think he's a hoax. Um, I think there's plenty of evidence to show that he is a puppet of Vladimir Putin. I would rather vote for a moderate Democrat who's willing to bring the country back from where we're headed than to vote for a fascist party. So, you know, if that means I have to vote for Biden, then I will vote for Biden because at least I know that what we're going to get out of a Biden White House, aside from domestic policy, is we will have sound foreign policy. And a Biden White House will certainly hold Russia accountable. We'll have a president that will be willing to take action. And that will be Joe Biden.